Interior decorating can be a hassle. It takes months and even years to find the right balance in your living space. Some hire an interior decorator and some of us have to do it ourselves. I fall in the latter category. I've been on the hunt for living room lamps for the past year, but never found any that wowed me. So my television became the main source of light in my living room. I went to Ikea and stumbled across a weirdly unique lamp. Actually, my friend was the one who noticed it. Initially, I wasn't interested. I mean, who wants a plastic lamp held together by rubber bands? Well, that's what I thought until I went home and started to visualize a lamp in my living room. It was perfect. It added the right touch of modernity and understated elegance I was looking for, even if it was made from plastic. I made a quick run to Ikea and instead of getting one lamp, I decided to get a pair for visual balance. Good thing I had read the description before I went to Ikea. More on that later. Before I go any further, let me just say, I once vowed never ever to purchase anything from Ikea ever again. After I spent an entire night putting together a dresser. I've since broken that vow a million times. But after opening the first box, I almost renewed that vow as I was expecting the lamp to be pre-assembled, only to realize it came in 8 pieces with a million rubber bands in 3 sizes. I was done. I remained patient and started assembling the lamps. And the panels decided they were gonna give me the fight of my life. Oh my god. I even broke one of the rubber bands. Good thing it came with spares. As the frustration was building, I had to remind myself, the more frustrated I get, the more difficult the task becomes. This video is of me assembling the second lamp, which took about 20 minutes. The first lamp took me about an hour and a half to assemble. Remember the part about me reading the description? Well, IKEA recommends a GX53 LED bulb. I almost left the store without the light bulbs, as I was planning to use them with the Philips Hue smart bulbs. Excuse my ignorance, but I had no idea that the GX53 referred to the connection type. I thought it was just a fancy name. So basically, you would need an adapter if you wanted to use the standard Edison light bulbs. It is also very important that you follow the manufacturer's recommendation when using third-party bulbs, as the lamp is rated for a maximum of 13 watts. Otherwise, you run the risk of fire. The lamp gives a nice warm glow when it's lit, making it even more beautiful. You can also adjust the beam angle of the light, but that requires reaching down into the lamp and twisting the plastic diffuser on the bulb. Thanks, IKEA. All in all, I'm very happy with the lamp and even happier with the price. Coming in at $39.99 Canadian dollars, so I just paid under 100 bucks for the entire package, inclusive of tax. Would I recommend a soja peanut floor lamp? Well, it depends on whether or not you're planning to use a lamp with smart bulbs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Terrain. Subscribe!